believe it or not, it's time to process some beef. Beefy boys dropping bombs. Another reason why we wanted to butcher the beefy boys now, so that way we don't have to continue to buy hay through the winter. Because we have two beefy boys that we need to process, and we're gonna use this barn to do that. If we're gonna be raising any kind of animal on this barn, we need to do some things first. Over the summer, I figured out that our barn here can lift a thousand pound tote of feed. And while I was lifting up this tote, I thought, I wonder if this barn can lift up a large animal, like a pig or a cow. It lifts it. I just hope that six by six is not rotted out. <laughs> First thing we need to remove this old rusted uh, termite infested. We had a door here that I ripped out and then I ripped out the other doors on the other side. Sledgehammer. Yeah, this is how you take down that door. Also that electrical right here is in my way if I wanna reinforce this beam up here. What helps definitely is the concrete here. I think that's gonna be helpful on butcher day uh, because we can hose off stuff. Look at this, it looks like bite marks. I think a horse was trying to chew on this. <laughs> These doors have some heavy duty nails on them. Also, I wanna put some hooks in here. Something I should have done in the beginning but honestly, I just wanted to finish this thing when I was building it. I had initially put hooks on the sides because I thought like, if I was transporting this, I could strap things down. But now that I'm, I might hang something, you know, it needs those maybe those type of hooks up on the ceiling here. Maybe if I quarter it, I could hang some of the pieces up. I'm gonna use a six by six also, so we'll get to that later. It's always pretty sketchy trying to knock this down because it is so tall. They have these giant nails. Also, this barn has a loft and it has some things up there that I feel don't belong up there. Roofing material, a pallet, some random wood. We need to get this out of there also. What works better than a sledgehammer is a sawzall. you guys sorry about that so I got the uh, hinge up there and now just the middle hinge I need to get Yeah, that's how pigs get out right there. 
That's how pigs get out. Rowdy bunch. They've been respecting this fence. Hey pigs. Yeah, man. Pigs are fun. Pigs are fun. I got the hunter orange hat on, guys. You know what that means. It's hunting season. I've been going out. Hopefully I can uh, catch a deer and uh, show you guys that, those videos. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. We've been slowly moving the beefy boys back around down the mountain. Uh, and then we're headed towards the barn because that's where we're gonna be processing them there. And we're doing this with no tractor. Every time I've helped somebody butcher a beef cow, they always had a tractor, right? We don't. So we're, we're gonna do this thing bare bones, ho homestead, uh, backyard uh, uh, butchery. Let's turn this off. We came back around up this way, and then we moved them here. Not even sure if this hose will reach over here. I already ran this line last night. I like to run the lines the day before, at least night before, so that way I'm not doing everything this morning, like that morning. Hey, beefy boys. Good morning, we're moving today. It's been a few months since last they were in this spot. So this is one of the higher parts of the, the land here as far as the grass. Doesn't seem like they're eating it though. I mean, they're eating it, but not all of the things like how they were in the spring. Maybe because I've been giving them hay. Maybe they're just lazy. They're just like, hey, this guy's giving me hay. Why are we? Why are we looking for food? He's bringing the food to us. They're training me well. You gotta fill this up first, because this takes forever. I only have this one line left to do. And then I'm done with the line. I like to put these pigtails in the corners. Let's do it right there. Haven't gotten tangled in a while. Yeah. There we go. The grass is always greener with these cows. It's amazing though, the big animals, I mean, they, they do respect this little string. Usually I use a bucket or some kind of plastic tote but if you have some extra stakes here, keeps it off the ground. It doesn't electrify it. First step is we need to cut to length this six by six. It's not actually six by six, it's five and a half inches by five and a half inch square. Because this piece of wood is so thick, we need to flip it over and then do the other side. Still pretty thick. After I cut this side, cut this side, we have this little piece right here that just doesn't get. We marked the center of the six by six and then we're just gonna go a diagonal piece. This is where I wanna cut. I'm basically making three cuts. Sawzall works better.
I'm using these eight inch lag bolts. These are really fancy lag bolts here, GRK. It'll be a little bit easier when I get up there. All right, I have a helper today. Hey. Hold the top. I got the bottom if you hold the top. Okay, can you lift this up? Let's do it. Wow, those big timbers really eat up a battery. It's important to have a fresh battery when you when you do this. Can you can you carry this up there? Yeah. Bring it down. All right. Lift it up. All right, good job, Penelope. Luckily I have two of these. The other one I think fried. It, it fried up on me, you know? Yeah. I mean it wasn't it wasn't even screwing this in. Not even not even trying to. So luckily I have this one. Hopefully this works and doesn't burn out on me. I'll take this out. Alright, that's it. You know, over time, I think this is going to evolve. You know, this barn's going to evolve. It's going I still got to put doors on this, um, but this is going to have to do for now. I mean, those cor diagonal corner braces that should lift up a cow, a pig. I'm going to have to do this another day. I don't feel like it's totally necessary. I could just lay the beef down, but you know, a part of me just wants to do it to be able to hang the beef even if I can just quarter the beef. But I think this is gonna work. I already have the strap to hang them, to hook on right in the middle there. I was thinking I might have to shorten up and cut this end piece here of the loft because when you hoist up an animal, it's gonna rub up against that wood there. I would just hate to do it and regret it. So I'm just kind of thinking about it for right now seeing if I actually want to do that or just wait you know let's let's get this done and then see how it works and then maybe uh, next year or next time I do this we could cut it I'm also debating if I should cover that up there just like fill that in with wood you know like continue the wall down and then make a sliding barn door that meets in the middle rather than a giant door I don't know so many possibilities. It's hard to to make those decisions right now Like I feel like I just have to like slowly just keep going. I, I keep thinking of these things and I really just have to just Try this out see how it works and then go from there But I don't know either way. I have options. It's exciting. We're getting close to the end of the year close to the beefy boys being put in our freezer and uh, Yeah we're just kind of getting excited and mentally I'm trying to prepare for that because it's a large animal and this is the next level, man.